Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to optimize your CPU for gaming and ultimate performance. This guide works for both Intel and AMD processors and using the affinities, it can really give you guys a lot more performance and also make your PC overall really smooth. I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can optimize your processor to get every bit of performance out of it. And I don't want to take more of your guys time with long intros, but guys 90.8% of you watching my videos are not even subscribed. It's only fair that if you're watching the videos, then you subscribe as well. So make sure to press that subscribe button right now. And with all of that out of the way, let's get this video started. So as I told you guys earlier, we are going to be using the affinities inside of this video and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly test and set affinities for your processor. So the first thing that you guys want to do is go down into the description of this video and download the affinities pack Reknetic from there. Once the pack is downloaded, go ahead and right click on it, extract it using 7-zip or WinRAR and then go ahead and open it up. Inside of here, you guys will find the mouse tester folder, device manager shortcut, and interrupt affinity policy tool. But before that, I want to explain what affinities are and how they work. So basically, if you guys have never applied affinities and you are using the default settings, then by default, Windows sends most of the interrupts to core zero, instead of dividing them onto other cores as well, which of course lowers the performance and increases the stress on core zero. By using tools such as this interrupt affinity policy tool, we are going to be dividing those interrupts among other cores as well. So the stress on core 0 is lower and hence the performance is increased. So the first thing that you guys want to do is right click on the policy tool, run it as administrator. If you guys get any errors while using this tool, it's completely fine and normal, you guys just need to ignore that. Once that is done, go ahead and open up device manager as well. And there are only three things that I want you guys to set the affinities for. That is your USB host controller, your graphics card, and the PCI bridge to which your graphics card is connected to. So I'm gonna be starting off by setting the affinity for USB enhanced host controller. In order to do that, in the device manager, click on view, click on devices by connection. This is going to show us the devices that are right to 3 connection so that we can see everything that is connected to our host controller. For a lot of you guys, you will only have one host controller. However, some of you like me will have two host controllers. We are going to be setting the affinity for the one that has our mouse and keyboard connected to it. So in order to check that, just go ahead and expand it down and see which one your mouse or keyboard is connected to. So for me, my keyboard is connected to this one and my mouse should be connected to this one as well, as you guys can see. However, in the other one, I don't have my mouse or keyboard connected to it. Instead, I have my microphone connected to it. So we are gonna leave this as is and we are going to be setting the affinity for the one to which my mouse and keyboard are connected to. So once you guys find out which host controller your mouse and keyboard are connected to, you guys need to find its location so that we can search it inside of the policy tool and apply the affinity. In order to do that, right click on it, click on properties and look for location. So the PCI bus is 0, device 26 and function is 0 as well. So the location for this is 0, 26, 0. Now we need to go ahead and find that host controller inside of this tool. So I can see there is one host controller right here. If I click on it, ignore the error and see its location is 0, 29, 0. However, this is not the location that we want to find. We want to find 0, 26, 0. So this is not the one. We need to scroll down until we find the other host controller. As you guys can see, this is the second host controller. Click on it, ignore the error, and its location is 0260, which matches perfectly with this location 0260. So this is the one that we want to set the affinity for. Go ahead and click OK here and then click on set mask here. So this window will open up which looks something like this and the number of CPU X depends on your processor. So for me, I have a four core and four thread processor. Therefore, I have CPU 0, 1, 2, 3. And if you guys have a better processor, you will have more of these options. So now comes the hard part. That is the testing part. So you guys want to go ahead and start from CPU 0. Check it. Click OK. Click OK. And it will ask you guys if you want to restart the device, click no because we are going to be restarting our PC so that the changes are perfectly applied. So once you guys have applied that affinity, go ahead and click on done and then go ahead and restart your PC. So once you guys have restarted your PC, go ahead and open up the affinities pack and go into the mouse tester folder. Inside of here, run the mouse tester 
This is the program that we are going to be using in order to test the affinity that we have applied. Keep in mind that that's not the final affinity that we have applied. We will keep testing all of the affinities and find the one which works the best for us. So then just go ahead and right click on it, run it as administrator. Then go ahead and put in your DPI here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put in 800. And then go ahead and click on collect. Hold the left mouse button and drag your mouse uh, for a bit. Then go ahead and click on plot. Once that is done, for the plot type, set it to frequency versus time. And uh, data start point, just go ahead and set it to a value like 50 or something. Just want to clear up this mess at the start. And for the data end point, set this to 1600, just to clean up the data at the end as well. So once you guys have uh, got this graph, what you want to do is, select, is go ahead and find the highest value and then go ahead and find the lowest value as well. So for that, we are going to be noting all of this inside of a notepad. Just go ahead and make a new notepad file. You can call it anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and type in test. And we are doing this test for uh, our USB host controller. Just go ahead and type in that. And the test is for CPU zero. So the highest value here is actually 2150. So that's what I'm gonna be typing in right here. Then minus, and then we are going to be subtracting the lowest value from here. So that would be around 450, which is equal to 1700. So now test one is complete. Usually what I recommend and I do myself is perform three tests for each CPU X and then get the average value for them. But for the sake of keeping this video simple and easy to understand for new people, I'm gonna just go ahead and perform one test for each CPU. So now we have successfully performed the test for CPU 0. What we need to do is save this notepad, then go back into the pack, run the affinity tool, then go back into the device manager once again and make sure that you guys go ahead and select the USB host controller once again. So that would be this one, ignore any errors, set mask and this time we want to uncheck CPU 0, check CPU 1, hit OK, ignore any errors, click no, OK, OK, close all of this and then restart your PC so that the affinity for CPU 1 is applied as well. So once you guys have restarted, go ahead and open up the pack once again, go to mouse tester, run it as admin and then go ahead and click on collect hold the left mouse button drag it for a bit hit plot go ahead and clean up from the start and then go ahead and clean up from the end as well and then go ahead and open up the test as well now this time we set the affinity to cpu 1 so that's what we are going to be setting here as well so this is going to be the test value for cpu 1 so the highest value here is 1520 and the lowest value here is about 560, 520, 480 and 440. So that is equal to 1080. So this is the test value for CPU 1. Now close out of this, close out of this, go to the affinity pack, run this as admin once again, go to your host controller and this time go ahead and set the mask for CPU 2. Now go ahead and hit OK, hit OK, no, OK, OK, restart your PC once more so that the affinity is applied then go ahead and repeat this step and you guys need to repeat this step for each and every CPU number. So in my case I have CPU 0, CPU 1, CPU 2 and CPU 3 so I need to perform tests for all CPU 0, 1, 2 and 3. If you guys have more than that go ahead and perform the test for them and then at the end after you guys have tested all of the values you guys need to select the one with the lowest value so now i'm gonna go ahead and test the cpu 3 and cpu 4 as well and i'm gonna meet you guys at the end of that so yeah guys welcome back i have already tested my cpu 2 and cpu 3 values as well as you guys can see and also i want to quickly mention that if you guys are getting confused with this guide i have made this whole guide uh, about how to use the mouse tester I will provide the link down below in the description so just so that you guys can go ahead and read all of this in case you are confused and I show the whole method on how to use three tests, three values, how to get the average, how to use mouse tester and all of that good stuff in there. So make sure that you guys go ahead and check this out. But as you guys can see I have performed tests for all of them for my USB host controller. And now what we need to do is select the one with the lowest value. 
so that would be 1080 and that is cpu1 so in my case i need to select cpu1 for my usb host controller so in order to do that i just need to go to the affinity policy tool select my host controller hit ok set mask and now i need to just go ahead and select cpu1 hit ok ok no ok done and a final restart so that it is successfully applied now we need to move on to our graphics card so in order to do that i'm going to name another value here that is graphics card and we are going to be performing the test for that inside of here under here so in order to set the affinity for our graphics card we need to go ahead and open up the policy tool once again run it as admin we also need to open up device manager and then what we need to do is uh, go ahead and view devices by connection then go ahead and find our graphics card so it should be somewhere under here here it is nvidia geforce gtx 750 ti and now i need to find my graphics card inside of here so if i just keep pressing n eventually i will get to nvidia graphics card so yep here i found it for the location it's zero z it's one zero zero and if i go ahead and check this location for this it's one zero zero so it perfectly matches now what we need to do is once again go into the testing phase so for that set mask set it to cpu zero hit ok hit ok click no hit ok ok once again i know there are a lot of errors but just go ahead and ignore them click on done close this and now restart your pc so that the affinity is applied to cpu zero so once you guys have restarted go ahead and open it up go into the mouse tester run it as admin and then go ahead and put in your dpi collect go ahead and drag your mouse by holding the left mouse button then click on plot then after that go ahead and clean up the start and also clean up the end now what we need to do is measure the highest value and measure the lowest value as well so i'm gonna open up this notepad type in cpu zero because we are performing the test for cpu zero and the highest value here is 1640 1680 and 7 it's around 1680 as you guys can see so that's what i'm gonna type in minus the lower value is around 400 so which is equal to 1280 once that is done we can close out of this close out of this as well save this notepad go back into the policy tool go ahead and search for my graphics card set mask and this time set the mask to cpu1 hit ok ok no ok done and then restart my pc once more so that the affinity for cpu1 is applied once the restart is complete i'm gonna open up mouse tester once again to test the affinity value go ahead and hit collect plot i'm gonna go ahead and clean up this then go ahead and note the highest value so that would be around 2200 actually it's for cpu1 so that's what i need to type in and then minus the lower value that would be around 500 which will be equal to 1700 and now i'm gonna go ahead and test the values for cpu2 and cpu3 as well and i'm gonna return after i have done those values so yes everyone welcome back i have already tested the cpu2 and cpu3 values as well as you guys can see and from the results as you guys can see cpu2 is giving me the lowest value so that's what best for my graphics card so i'm gonna open up the affinity policy tool search for my graphics card then go ahead and set mask and i'm gonna be setting the mask to cpu2 because that is what worked better for me hit ok no done ok and now i need to restart my pc now there is only one one last and final thing and that is the pci bridge for our graphics card but the good thing is that we don't need to test anything for it because we want to set our pci bridge to the same cpu as we set our graphics card to so for example for you your graphics card gives you the lowest value at cpu1 you want to set your pci bridge to cpu1 as well in my case my graphics card gave me the lowest value at cpu2 so i need to set my pci bridge to cpu2 as well in order to do that we need to open up device manager go into view devices by connection go ahead and find our graphics card right here and then look at the bridge that it's connected to or the root express port 
to which is it is connected to so for me it's this one i'm gonna go ahead look at its location that is 010 and now i need to find it in the policy tool so that would be 010 i think i already found this one i'm just gonna go ahead and make sure 010 010 so yeah i have already found my pci express port so what i need to do is set mask set it to the same cpu as i set my graphics card to hit ok ok no ok and then i need to restart my pc so that all of the affinities are applied now a very important thing that you guys need to keep in mind is that i know this method can take a lot of time and it could and it can be confusing at times but that's what i have written that guide for so just go ahead and make sure that you read that and also if you guys just go ahead and randomly set affinities it can lower your performance instead of increasing it so make sure that you guys go ahead and test the affinities for yourself and then apply the one that gives you the lowest value it is really important that if you guys want the result and want the maximum performance out of your cpu then you go ahead and put in the time and effort and test these values for yourself affinities work differently for each and every pc so just make sure that you are testing them and then applying them instead of just randomly copying me or anyone else thinking that if it worked for them it will work for you that is not true at all and affinities work differently for every pc so you need to make sure that you test them yourself and then apply them so yeah guys as you guys can already imagine this video took me a lot of time to make because of the amount of things that i needed to cover that is the whole reason i cut out this part from my previous video as well because i wanted to explain it in much more detail and make everything clear so that you guys can easily understand so if this video helps you guys then make sure to leave a like down below it will really mean a lot to me and once again guys 90.8 percent of you watching my videos are not even subscribed so make sure that you press the subscribe button before you leave and with all of that out of the way i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome